it's Trisha and Trampas coming to you from our brand new travel trailer. Uh, we thought today we would just go over all the extra money we have spent so far once we purchased our trailer. So that's what we're going to look at today. We've got everything. Well, not everything. We'll go over a few things. We're not affiliated with anybody. This is just for fun. Um, but if you're thinking about buying a travel trailer, you have to kind of keep an extra... I don't know, thousand, fifteen hundred dollars set aside or plan on spending that afterwards if you want to buy, like if you want to get all set and ready to go when you're when you're uh, for your first trip. We probably don't need every single thing that we bought, but we have been checking things out, listening to friends, watching reviews, doing everything we could, and we figured let's just get what we think we need, and then in a after a couple trips, we'll come back and let you know what we actually use. So Trampus and JD are going to talk about some of the extra products that we had to buy um, to get started on our little get on the road and go adventure. Uh, we do this for fun. We're excited about it. But we found that we didn't really know what we needed. And so there might be stuff in here that we come back afterwards and say, oh, we didn't really need that right away. So we will definitely... We'll let you know after a few trips what we actually needed. All right. Go ahead, Trampus. Tell well, us about the extra expenses. All right. So to start off with, when you pick up your camper, you're going to need a, make sure you have the right size ball for the tongue of the trailer and a hitch and a hitch pin. Um, you also, when you pick up your trailer, may want to have one of these they don't come with the trailers and the lug nuts on your trailer and car are different you will need a four-way if you have to change a tire on your trailer i also picked up a tongue lock <clears throat> for securing the trailer when it is not hooked up to a uh, vehicle something else to keep in mind if you're car does not come with a uh, trailer brake um you can purchase one like this which hooks into your seven pin on the back of your vehicle uh and is a bluetooth model it is a little expensive but there is no wiring that has to be done like with a trailer brake that goes in your vehicle next thing you're going to want to have is some sort of safety kit for roadside emergencies. I opted for a LED model, comes in a four pack, just in case you have to pull over in an, in an emergency situation. Another very important thing is having a surge protector. I opted for the EMS surge protector, which protects against a lot more than just power surges. It is Bluetooth and tells you what's going on with your camper. This will shut down if there's not enough power, if there's too much power. It won't let you ruin your camper's electrical system. Um, again, we'll go into more in depth on that in a, a later video, but I think it is very important because a couple of hundred dollars here versus totaling your whole trailer's electrical system. Nobody wants to do that, and yeah. The next thing you're gonna want to have is jack pad and stabilizer <laughs> pads. These go under your uh, tongue, tongue jack and your stabilizers to keep them from sinking in the mud and gravel. You can use blocks of wood. These are lighter, easier to clean and, you know, store. So these are, you know, nice to have. Also, your camper doesn't come with hoses. You're going to need a array of hoses. <clears throat> I only have one to show right now. This is our multi-purpose hose. It is not for drinking water. It is not for washing out the sewer. So you will need two other hoses, one for fresh water and one for cleaning your sewer pipes. So at least three types of hoses. And I would get them different colors so that you know what everything is. Your drinking water hose, buy a white hose, um, but maybe keep them separated so that you know what they are. And that all-purpose hose is going to go with one of these hose splitters so that we can rinse things out um, and off outside. Thanks. You also want a water filter, a 
brass elbow what this does is it screws onto the side of your camper and takes away pressure from the hose pulling down on the fitting and breaking your fitting that is connected to the camper nice yeah i had no idea you also want a pressure re reducing valve for the water this only allows a certain amount of pressure to go in your camper some camper sites have very high pressure and can bust your water lines in your camper there are some models that have nice gauges and are adjustable i just opted for the standard for now and you know keep in mind too we have a small tra travel trailer it's a 19 foot inside maybe 23 foot total so we don't we don't need anything super fancy we don't next thing like our camper comes with about a 15 or 20 foot retractable uh electrical plug you don't have to have this but you may want to have it handy in case you have to park further away from the electrical connection um, what is it <laughs> what is it exactly like a this is just a 30 amp rv extension cord <clears throat> now also make sure of what your camper takes whether you're a 50 or a 30. Uh, you also may want to have reducers uh, if you go to a site that only has a 50 you can get a dog bomb that plugs into the 50 and comes out 30. Hmm. you can get a dog bomb that plugs into a the 30 and out to a, a 15 amp for your house to charge your battery um, make sure you get the right plugs because like this one is not correct for any setup we have as this is a generator setup. So make sure your plugs are right before you purchase them. Oh, that's the one we have to return. Yes. Yeah. See, first mistake of a newbie. <laughs> we bought the wrong one. So don't buy that one. Next thing is this is a sewer hose support. It is not a hundred percent necessary some rv camps require it so it's best to have this because if you run into a camp that requires it then you're gonna have to run out and grab one to be able to hook up and all it does is lift off the the sewer hose off the ground and it might help with um the direction of the the fluids we'll say the stuff coming out of your black tank but it was really not expensive we'll let you know after the first time we use it and if it was helpful or not but it's really, it'll probably stay in that box for a while. Which brings us to something that is a must have and doesn't come with most travel trailers is the sewer hose itself. I like this model. It's a double chin, so it comes 20 feet. It has a 90 degree elbow at the end that goes in the septic system, which has a clear spout so you can see when water comes out clean there. I also, this is not necessary, but I did purchase it a 45 degree to go at the camper end of the hose that's clear to also see what's coming out of it. Um, Here, JD will hold up the, the next thing. This is something I'm 100, not 100% sure about. I have heard that some RV sites require a donut at the septic system to stop the uh, sewer gases from coming out. This just hooks onto this and then goes into the septic system to keep a better seal. I had no idea what that was. The next thing, what my son has his hands on, GD, this, <clears throat> if your, lightsaber. If your <laughs> I don't think it's camper a lightsaber. doesn't come with a black tank flush, Smaller campers a lot of times do not. This wand and the package right here that JD is going to pick up together goes down into your toilet and sprays water in all directions in the black tank to help wash it out. Again, if your tank doesn't, if your travel trailer doesn't come with a black tank flush, <clears throat> flush then you'll need something like this to uh make sure it stays nice and clean Thanks, JD. the next thing is what they call is this is a reducer mm -hmm. that reduces your sewer pipe to black water only some sites only allow you to dump black water at your park where you're parked this 
will convert to a regular hose and can be hooked up to the the gray water. <clears throat> um, this way, because your gray water fills up a lot quicker than the black tank, this way you can dump your gray water and not have to pull off and go to the dump site, you know, three or four times a, a week. So this isn't 100% necessary, but it's something I think will be coming handy in the future. It's not very expensive. Again, we'll go into some pricing later on. <clears throat> um, so that's, uh, uh, I think, a nice thing to have there. The next thing we have is a... The levelers? The levelers. This is a roll-up type leveler where you stick under the tire and you pull up the travel trailer until it's level and then you run the chalk in it to hold it. Well, that's another <clears> thing. <throat> you need a set of chalks. So chalks are very important. <laughs> They're under our trailer right now, which is why we're not really showing you, but that's the leveling chalk, the one for the leveling set. But when you leave, before you leave the dealership, make sure that you pick up a set of chalks. It's nice to get the rubber ones, but like our dealership didn't have them when we went and neither did anywhere else around. Walmart, Lowe's, we were all over the place and nobody had them. They just had the plastic ones. You can order them off Amazon, but you're going to want a set whenever you park your trailer because yeah. you do not want a brand new trailer <laughs> rolling down the hill. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. They're cheap, they're like five bucks or something super cheap. So we just bought them from the dealership and we figured at some point We'll probably get the rubber ones, but we just have a couple sets of those plastic ones underneath our wheels right now. So that's why we're standing here, not rolling down the hill. Next All thing, right. <laughs> not a hundred percent necessary, but if you're going to want to watch TV, make sure you have a TV that's light enough and gonna that can mount the on the wall. And that's going to fit the spot. Ours again, small space, 24 inch TV, picked it up today at BJ's for like 80 bucks. And um, we can go ahead and put that up there. Thanks, JD. Uh, sometime later today, probably. But that was that was one of those things. We're like, oh, we should probably buy a TV for the RV now. So anyway. And then the last thing we want to go over is storage containers. Oh. Don't buy storage containers until you get your RV and measure your spot. Measure everywhere too, because every there's storage everywhere. So if you look under our bed, like this is our bed, and I don't know, this is probably gonna not come off great in the video, but we have storage under there. Had I just used the multitudes of storage containers that I had in my garage, none of them would have fit. The other thing I found underneath my cabinet, I found these awesome plastic storage, but I had to measure this because nothing I had, of course, already on hand would fit. And then I also put, um, I happen to have a lot of storage baskets, so that was super easy for me, but you might want to find things that are going to fit in your cabinets, but measure before you do anything. I, we added, I have baskets up there. We added a hanging paper towel holder. Um, oh, and a moisture, this damp ridge stuff. I don't know what that is, but that damper, people said we should get it. So we've had it in there. We haven't really been connecting any um, moisture. And JD, if you want to open that door. In the bathroom, we already showed you how we had to redo the whole floor. But we did buy a nice shower curtain and we did, Trampus replace the shower head. And then finally, with the oxygenics, that's what we bought. And then finally, I put um, I put little baskets under here for all of us. And we're going to just run a, a little piece of wood or ribbon or something across so that it holds them in place. And then this is our other son, Austin, showing you the storage underneath their bed. And so they have those same storage containers. They're each going to get a bag for toys. And then that's what we'll do. So anyway, this is it. This is our little home away from home. We have storage everywhere. And um, thank you so much. We'll, we'll see you as we get on the road and go. But we'll let you know what else. There's more stuff, but this is just something to get started. See you later. Bye.